Hey guys, welcome back to the Hidden Artifacts channel. I am back here for video number two of the year. And this one's gonna be a short one, but it's, uh, it's a little bit interesting. So stick with me. Um, I'm actually not going to be showing any metal detecting, so if that's what you're looking for, just, just turn it off now. Um, but no, seriously, stick around, this is pretty cool. Uh, I have hit my lawn right behind me here, and you'll remember my very first video. Um, this is where I started metal detecting. I've hit this lawn three times with my uh, Ace Garrett 250. And uh, I thought I had pretty extensively covered it. Um, went up and down, got a lot of trash signals, lots of nails, things like that. Nothing really ever came out of this yard, but it's a really good test bed to kind of see what the detector was capable of and figure out a little bit more about, you know, what the numbers meant. And so, as you know, I got my Equinox 800 recently and I thought, you know what, I should probably hit the lawn again and see what it see what comes up. Maybe I'll hit something new because I keep hearing all this talk about with uh, specifically the Equinox, people revisiting sites and coming up with all kinds of crazy new stuff that they, they didn't see before. And uh, so I'm going to show you a spot in the backyard here where I actually I found something. Um, of course I found, you know, the traditional even more nails and a pull tab and a couple quarters and things like that. Nothing crazy, nothing silver specifically, but uh, yeah. Come on, I wanna, I wanna show you a spot. Let's take a look. So this is my backyard, nothing spectacular at all. Uh, have a garden growing over here that I planted some peppers in and all kinds of fun stuff. But yeah, anyways, uh, I was over this way and you can actually still see the hole. If I remember right, it was this one right here. And um, I found a screaming signal. It, this thing went nuts uh, when I hit this. And I'll show it to you now. And there it is. I thought this was silver when it first came out just because of how bright it was. But this is actually aluminum. And uh, I'm sure you caught that, but there's a name on it. Philip F. Bruce. And it's got a, it's got a flag. It's aluminum. And, it, you know, in doing some research after I cleaned it up, I, I went off the patent number here on the back. And it turns out that these were really popular in the 40s. And you could actually send in, you could mail in what you wanted it to say around the outside of this. And on this one specifically, this is what appears to be an identity coin or a challenge coin from a fraternity here in uh, Lansing, Michigan State University, for Bruce, or sorry, Philip F. Bruce. Um, that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. You know, in the past I've gotten little dog tags and things like that with names on them, but I don't know that I've ever found something with somebody's full name on it. And it's a unique, unique name. Um, it's Philip with one L. And so after doing some, some internet sleuthing, I ended up finding out that uh, poor Phil passed away about 10 years ago, because um, I was really hoping to return this to him. I'm guessing he lived here. Um, this house is from the 20s. It's pretty old. Uh, so there's a pretty good chance that, that Phil I don't know, I was back over there having a bonfire. There's a lot of burned stuff in that corner and it fell out of his pocket back in the 40s. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend here in the US and I also found out that Phil was a veteran at World War II. He actually paused his college career to go to war and when he came back, he, he ended up finishing his degree. So um, I found a lot of information about Phil through his obituary, unfortunately but I found some of his uh, kids and his grandkids. And so today's so special and this video is so cool because I actually tracked down one of his kids, sorry, his grandchildren, and I get to return this to her today. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna film her because that would be kind of weird. I might get a photo, I'm gonna ask, <laughs> um, we'll see. But I think it's really cool to be able to return a token back to one of the relatives of this gentleman and um, something they never expected to get. It's not valuable, it's not worth a lot, but to their family, maybe it is. And I'm gonna find out and I'll tell them my story and what I do and hopefully they'll be able to pass this down to their kids. Um, but yeah, it's cool, it's on Venture, it's, or it's on Memorial Day. I think that's really great. And um, you know, considering he served, I think that's super appropriate and uh, I'm excited. So the next thing you'll hear from me is, is how it went. <laughs> I might get some footage of pulling up to the place we're going to meet, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing something like this, and I'm excited to do it. So we'll see how it goes. 
So I just got a hold of the girl that I'm supposed to be dropping this off to and meeting. Her name is Nicole. And uh, it's right here at this car dealership. I guess her sister works here. Um, she's running a couple minutes late. So, uh, but she says she's coming. So I'll get to see her in a couple minutes and uh, pass this off to her. All right, I'm back and I just met with Nicole. Super, super sweet lady. Um, that meant a lot to her. That was really cool. She was so happy to get that back. Um, obviously, she never, she never knew it was lost in the first place, but um, we were able to speak about her grandfather a little bit and how he had served, and I thanked her uh, for obviously his sacrifices that he made. Um, and she mentioned how her father had just passed and how a lot of this stuff has you know, left the family and she doesn't have much. Um, she did verify that he did live in Lansing um, and I showed her a picture of my house and she's relatively certain that that was the house that he lived in. She has a couple of old pictures and so she's gonna look through them and see if she can find one to, to verify that that was the house he lived in. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, just, just cool stuff. I'm so glad that I was able to return that to her family and you know, keep his memory alive. So if I have any other pictures, I, got, I was able to get a picture of, of her and I together. Uh, I'll be sure to put them in the video and, and share them. But um, you know, it's, it's one of the things that I, I love about this hobby is, is being able to return things to people if I, if I can. Um, and I hope to have more, more moments like this in the future. So until next time, guys, keep digging. You never know what you're gonna find. Have a great one, bye.